Hello Gemini, welcome to your Timeless Tarot to go. Well, I hope you are energized today. I know you, maybe you are right now, or if you are tired, okay. I invite you to have a short tarot break, okay. You know how it is when you pass by a fast food and then uh, you just try, sort of like uh, take out or drive through, okay. Now, this is like what we are, what tarot to go is, no. You know how it is, you are, you are busy, but you, you are hungry, okay, or you need a short break, no. So, um, this is, I invite you to take a short break, no, that sort of like a spiritual, uh, emotional, mental food, okay. Well, let's see, Gemini, what is your main energy for today? Okay, wow, okay, we have here the Six of Cups, and um, for some of you, it can be uh, sort of like puppy love. <laughs> Romantic love where in uh, everything is sweet. Okay, uh, be careful. Uh, don't let the flies fly near you. Okay, because you're very sweet. Okay, <laughs> or the bees. Okay, be careful of the bees. Okay, in a way. Uh, yeah, uh, for some of you uh, right now, uh, it's um, this blooming right now. Uh, there's a romance for some of you. There's romance right now. And uh, both of you are, uh, you know, very generous to each other. You, you contribute uh, profusely to the relationship okay uh, there is a sort of like a unconditional giving of love okay that's for some of you for some of you you are uh, reminiscing of the past okay um, looking back of the past looking at those beautiful days those bright days not in the past no uh, those wonderful moments no uh, for some of you happy anniversary okay I don't know why but suddenly I have this feeling some of you are celebrating a sort of like an anniversary, no? anniversary of a relationship, no, and you are looking back on those beautiful days, no, beautiful, warm, romantic days. Uh, for some of you, some romantic place where you have visited, maybe you should visit it again, or maybe you are already there right now, celebrating this anniversary, and you are in that very romantic place, something like European place, I don't know, no. For some of you, it's like that. Uh, somewhere where there is a court of coat of arms, okay. Something uh, very just a simple thing. Somewhere uh, maybe like a, a certain part of a street of a certain place, you no, know, where somehow it was significant to both you and your partner, and somehow you are. Uh, who knows? You maybe you are meeting each other there already. Okay, it's like. Uh, uh, yeah, reminiscing the past. Beautiful. For some of you, there is a significance of a white flower. A white flower, yeah. There is a certain importance of that white flower. Um, so this is the main energy I see right now. It's like reminiscing of the past. No? For some of you who are happily single, yeah, this is your me time. <laughs> You are pampering yourself right now. You're just saying, ah, let go of all these responsibilities. I just want to treat myself. And so you, for some of you, you travel to a quiet spot and just try to enjoy having a date with yourself. You know how it is now. Uh, maybe after all those work and everything, you, you told yourself, I'm going to treat myself. And so you went in this very quiet place, uh, Somehow makes me feel you are you are happy just being unseen. You know how it is you just disappear in the beauty of the place. You know how it is you, you are just a quiet observer. You're just quietly going through it. You're just happy not being seen, not being noticed. No? Just like an, um, an ordinary tourist or something like that. No? Okay. So this is the energy that I feel right now for you, Gemini. Okay. Now, let us try to see. <clears throat> okay, you're very intuitive. Right now, you're very sensitive to the cycles of the moon. Okay, the cycles of the moon affects you. No? Uh, there's uh, something about headache. Okay, um, maybe you need to be aware of that. Uh, maybe it's part of the ascension symptoms. No? But uh, if it's constant, maybe you need to consult the doctor. Okay, uh, you see here, 
uh, at the crown part or at the head of the this high priestess it's bloated okay it's like going to explode okay it's like a balloon that is growing and it's going to explode so uh, for some of you you might be having some problems with headache okay uh, if you need maybe you need to seek consult right now you have a very playful spirit and this playful spirit is like playing with the spirit guides no you see here the fish dancing around and you are just in the midst of the sea it's like you enjoy traveling into your inner world and you just enjoy being with the your spirit guides or with the fish you know and uh, you're holding the cup celebrating with them you know celebrating with them this wonderful relationship of your inner self so you are very intuitive right now uh, you are in your elements you are very confident i guess the the confidence comes from your being in touch with your inner world for some of you you are traveling yeah okay it can be related here no for some of you you might be meeting your special someone in a special place that you usually meet no uh, some of you are traveling no uh, across the seas something yeah so you might be crossing sea no yeah maybe riding a plane or whatever no uh, yeah you're going to meet somebody <clears throat> for some of you or for some of you you're just going to treat yourself okay so there is uh, an element of travel here uh but also there is an inward journey for you i think personally you are deepening in your inner inner life right now and it's a beautiful experience it's like uh, you're having a wonderful relationship a, a playful relationship with your spirit guides and you are gaining a certain balance in your person right now a certain stability and uh, you you are you getting used to this intuitive life you know it's becoming part of you it's becoming like a spirituality a way of life okay something like that and you're very stable emotionally at this time very stable emotionally uh, everything seems to be okay even your yeah see you see here your relationship is so beautiful even your relationship with your family it's like your family and you enjoy being together okay um there's a certain warmness in your relationship with them very beautiful gemini yes you have an inner strength the inner strength that comes from your relationship with the divine inner strength that comes from within uh, you're not afraid to face challenges no at this time for you all these challenges they're something positive to embrace no and uh you are very yeah uh, you see again here we see the hermit no so there is really a very strong contemplative part of you 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 are even if you are in the midst of people in the in the midst of the city you are more of the uh, receptive one you know you're just there but you are silent you uh you enjoy just being there but you you are more of the silent observant type no uh you prefer not to be in the limelight you prefer just being there and uh, you're happy just being in touch with your inner self being in touch with your guides no so you continue i mean there is a certain uh relaxed nature with you and i think people feel it also and people enjoy being with you also because you're quiet <laughs> you're quiet receptive no you you don't rock the boat at this time no you're just be happy being there because somehow you are pre you you enjoy more the inner journey right now so you are in the hermit mode and you are in the receptive mode it's as if you enjoy being taught by the universe at this present time in your life and it exudes no uh, it, it brings you a certain confidence and you are very productive right now and creative see again even in your journeys even in your daily tasks you are constantly in touch with your inner self you see here the knight of cups he continues with his uh, daily affairs but he is contemplative as he does it no so you are in a very strong contemplative mode uh, for some of you you're like a messenger you see here it's like it thinks makes me think of mercury also in a certain sense for some of you you are also healers no yeah you you seem to have a gift of healing also um 
at the same time also being a messenger. You know how it is, a uh, messenger of the inner world, something like that. Take it if it resonates with you. Now, in the near future, there will be some anxieties. I don't know what it is, but there will be some anxieties that will keep you sleepless nights. It can be the... Because you are undergoing transformation right now, this can be sort of like... You know how it is where you have past mistakes and past hurts or past traumas? They are starting to rise now and they give you anxiety. It's part of the transformation process. You know how it is when you need to heal certain past wounds, no? I feel what you need to do is to just accept them that it's part of your history. You just say, yes, I have some maybe shady or dark past, some, some past things that I would wish I hadn't done or some past things which I wish I shouldn't have experienced. But I cannot remove it anymore because it's part of my history. But I can begin again. So it's like that. You need to accept them. You need to accept these past hurts, these past, uh, you know, uh, those shadow parts in your life that you have pushed into your subconscious mind because you are ashamed that other people will find out about them. Well, it's time now that you are undergoing this transformation, you are in the contemplative mode. Some of them will come to the surface and they will make you feel uneasy because yeah oftentimes do the shadow parts of our, ourselves we push them down because they make us feel uneasy because they make us feel unworthy uh they make us feel uh you know how it is uh, uh makes us feel we are not uh at par with the others so they make us feel down uh, how you call how you we are ashamed to accept that they are part of us so it's like that well, uh, now you are undergoing transformation, you will have to face them. And the best way is to accept them. Accept them with, with reality that they are part of you and you cannot change them. But you can learn from them and from that point, you can begin again. And actually, that experience you can use also to help others. That's why for some of you, uh, you can be a teacher <clears throat> or a healer because of the past experiences that you have. So I feel this one is more of healing of your past, which is part of your transformation process. Now, yes, they will might make you feel ashamed because they are part of, but you need to embrace it as part of you. And actually, this experience has made you a richer person as you are. I mean, for some of you, even this trauma or these past experiences has led you to become <clears throat> what you are right now, intuitive, uh, receptive to the divine because sometimes these things wake us up to the need for change and don't worry the universe is giving you a gift you know i think this is the gift of the healing of this one that's why they come together it's because the universe this is not a problem but actually a gift this is a gift for you the universe is half helping you to finally deal with some things that still gives you uh gives you anxieties no so i feel that the universe is now giving you the healing opportunity to heal and <clears throat> the sword symbolizes like enlightenment that you realize you don't need to deny it actually you need to embrace it and consider it as part of you and it has enriched you and it will help you enrich others lives also so i feel it is a gift and this gift is that realization <clears throat> and also that new knowledge you become wiser as a person so i feel this one actually you see everything is bright this one is also bright even if it looks the dark card and everything because dark and light <clears throat> it will allow you to mature allow you to achieve a certain balance i think it will allow you also to be more compassionate with other people because you will be <clears throat> less judgmental of people knowing that you also have your own skeletons your own dark side also it makes you be more uh inclusive rather than uh rather than judgmental of other people you learn to accept them for what they are because you know also that there are certain things also in your life that you are ashamed of but at the same time you know you cannot deny it's part of you and you need to reconcile with 
okay so i feel this is what you need to do now gemini so gemini you see <clears throat> it's like two opposites no the dark and the bright side you need to reconcile with the dark because oftentimes it's only the bright side that we give attention to it's like right now the subconscious mind is saying you need to reconcile with this part of you and it is a gift coming from the universe and finally if you do that you will find the true you that you will show to the world you see him the page of wands is somebody who's not afraid to show their true self once you accept that dark side of you you will love yourself whole completely with all your light dark and colorful sides no you learn to love yourself no because accepting this dark side allows you to love yourself even more because right now at this present time if you are not, have not yet accepted that dark side of you you only love a certain portion of yourself but once you reconcile with this dark side of yourself you will be loving your whole self and when you love your whole self you are not afraid anymore to show the world who you truly are so you're not afraid to wear crazy kind of outfits no you're not afraid to be who you truly are to express yourself to the world you will be on fire and yes you will be not afraid you will not be afraid to go on journeys so i feel again here again you are going on a journey i think it's because you have finally loved yourself for who you truly are that is why here you are nurturing already your inner self maybe it's because you have this this is the main gift that you have received from the universe a reconciliation of the whole aspect of yourself including that shadow part of you and somehow yes you are ready to go on an adventure you are treating yourself right now you're going on an adventure you're going on a trip because finally you feel you are set free and these anxieties these things this dark side that you have been given you anxieties in the past that when you remember them they make you feel uneasy you are finally coming to the point of realizing that this is part of you and this part of you has contributed to your richness as a person and you need to embrace that dark part of you that shadow part of you if you are going to be a whole person if you are going to learn to love yourself as a whole so i feel this is your message right now it's a beautiful message for you right now uh gemini no uh wait let me see is it gemini no <laughs> I get so carried away. Yes, it's Gemini. I get so carried away with the uh, with the cards that uh, yeah, I feel suddenly okay and and an, an easy weather. Yeah, okay, it's beautiful. Wow, Gemini, this is a very beautiful journey you are. This is not just an exterior journey going to another place, but an interior one also. See, healthy lifestyle. Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health i don't know some of you i feel maybe there there was a certain addiction or alcoholism suddenly came to me there's a certain part in your lifestyle that you are ashamed of to consider to to accept no uh, you need to be reconciled with that to recognize that there is that problem in your life and you need to address it no uh, something related to a healthy lifestyle so maybe there is something in your lifestyle right now that is not good that you need to let go of uh, you have to accept it first recognize it yes they say 50% of the healing comes from recognition you recognize that there is a that aspect of yourself that you need to change and you know you have to accept it uh, it's 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 a reality in my life right now but I can begin again. I cannot change it anymore. It's part of my past, but I can begin again. And you make a resolution to change it. No? So embrace a healthier lifestyle. You need to maybe change that, that part of your life. Okay, peace. Archangel Chamuel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Yes. What comes to me is loving yourself. Okay. The important thing here is that you love yourself with all those things so you, you love yourself with all your arms and with all your legs uh, you love yourself in all aspects not the the rainbow color of who you are including the dark side no just learn to love yourself and when you learn to love yourself peace will come 
Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. And I feel in your aspect right now, it's self-love. Loving yourself, including the dark side, will remove all these anxieties and bring you peace. Okay, so suddenly, I feel, <laughs> makes me feel that there's no romantic part here, but a romantic part with yourself. <laughs> uh, for many of you, maybe it's more of self-love. But for some of you, yes, you might be meet, meeting somebody. For some of you, maybe you are celebrating an anniversary of a relationship. But it's a beautiful celebration of an anniversary because you are experiencing also a wholeness in your life right now. So your partner, whoever this partner is who's going to celebrate this anniversary with you, is a very lucky partner because he is receiving a partner who is holistically healthy. Mm. Okay. Somebody who is transforming and evolving. Well, we are all works in progress. I think you are a work that is very much way ahead in progress. Okay. Now, attend to that headache. Okay. Maybe if you need, if, if you start working on your health, attend to that headache. And maybe when you start to have this healthy health lifestyle, sooner or later, you will be able to resolve, resolve that. But for some of you, I feel that the headache can also be part of the ascension symptoms. You are evolving and I think you are evolving very fast. Um, thank the universe. Don't forget to thank the universe for this gift and for the gift of this day. Well, I hope Gemini, this has been a fruitful reading for you. It has been fruitful for me too. Okay. It has given me also some enlightenment. If there are cross watchers here, uh, well, consider yourself very lucky because your partner is evolving and usually when your partner evolves you are also you will also evolve you know, it makes me think of that card of the lovers uh we're in uh, the male energy is looking at the female energy and the female energy is looking at the divine and the angel looking at the sun and the angel no so as she looks at the sun and the angel she is transforming and the masculine who is drawn to the feminine is also transforming so it's the same no? when when your significant other is evolving somehow it overflows to you also and you will also start to evolve you no know? well that's the beauty of being with someone you no know? uh, sooner or later the two become one and when you become one when one is evolving the other also will evolve mm. they evolve together together with the presence of the divine well this is it for now. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Uh, if you think this will help somebody, don't hesitate to share it with them. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed, I invite you to do so. Okay. I hope to see you again next time. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.